guys, what is up? It is Dorcas. And Ryan. And welcome back to A Couple of Coffee. Alright guys, so on this week, we're going to be talking about singer, dancer, I'm not really sure what she actually is, Danny Lay, the baby's girlfriend. Multi-talented D-list celebrity. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, basically, she released a teaser to a song that she is titling Yellow Bone. Yellow Bone is what he wants, what he wants. Yellow Bone is what he wants, what he And we're just going to talk about our thoughts on it. You go first. I went first last time, so you can go. Okay, so my initial reaction to this song was, what in the ice JJ fish is this? Before I even really listened to the words, I'm going to be honest. I was listening to the song and it sounded like, like definitely singing is not her thing. If this is what her thing is, I'll be honest. I didn't really quite know who she was. I thought she was just like an Instagram influencer or something. Well, I know who the song, the easy with Chris Brown. That's kind of like the only oh, song. See, I didn't not know. the first time I've ever seen her or her was see. that. I didn't really know that. I know who the baby is, but I didn't know that she was into music. I'll say that, and it pretty much showed to me from this clip. Now, did you listen to the clip? Yes, I listened to the. It was about a minute long, so it wasn't an actual song. Yeah, just like a teaser. Yeah. Um, I mean, you obviously continue going. <laughs> but either way, my initial reactions was that first of all, I'm not even sure if she is actually black. Or what the case is but she is proclaiming to be a yellow bone that was the first thing for me um just how can you be claim to be something that you are not but in listening to the actual lyrics of the song she kept saying um what was it um you want a yellow bone yellow bone is what he like or something like that we know that this is already a touchy sensitive topic because of colorism and this and that so Song-wise, I rated trash. Her actual rebuttal to it, because I went back and I watched some interviews and I saw some of the stuff she was saying, and really, she basically is just proving all of our points. She pulled the, I have dark skin friends. My boyfriend is dark skin. You know, typical things people say, like racist. Um, no. <laughs> so she's definitely colorist. And then she hit the, I don't even see color. You don't see color, and yet you made a song titled Yellow Bone. Like, pick a side. No, she did She did issue an apology where she made, or she tried to do a little quick rebuttal. But, <laughs> that was I guess because apology. I'm a, I don't know, I, I see things a little bit different. I, mean, I, I understand what she, I understand her intentions in her apology. Of course, you never say, I don't see color, because then what do you do at a stoplight? So it's, <laughs> you know, that is a dumb kind of make, because she kind of just saying uh, her, her apology, off the top of her dome, she really didn't clearly have a publicist write this out for her. She have a manager <laughs> have her write something, a statement for her before she did it. But it seemed like she wanted to be genuine. But and again, I mean, she, I, from what I understand, she does identify as with more of a Latina base, which in certain sects is still considered black. However, however. <laughs> I think I don't believe that the term yellow bone is something that I is solely given to or, or owned by African Americans See, or and black I, people. I disagree because I feel like the term yellow bone in general is widely known as light skinned black females. So the fact that she's not actually black, does she even have a claim to the term to begin with? Even though we know the history behind Yellow Bone and the fact that men say this as a way to fetishize light skinned women. It's the truth. Yes, because it's the whole thing. Oh, I, I want went, a Yellow no, Bone. No, this well, is no, no, no. Because men say they want big girls. Men say they want dark girls. Men say they want all type of things. And typically it's more when you hear it's that, a, it's a fetish. Like, I like my women. Preference. BBW. No, It'll be fetish. a preference. Not necessarily a, a fetish. It's a pr preference. And, and there's nothing wrong with having a preference. And again, like, I, I can't say that the black people own that term because I know people that I've gone to school with, work with, that were Latino, Spanish. My dad even, well, long period of time, people thought we were Spanish because of just how my, my father looks. And he's not fair. He's probably about where I'm at now. 
but because everyone that we knew around that time were all Spanish people that looked similar to me. I know dark skinned Spanish people. Herman, who's my fraternity brother, shout out to Herman, he's from Panama and he's much darker than me. And his whole family speaks Spanish and they're, you know, they're Panamanian. Yeah, Yet but Sam, I've never heard an actual you know, Hispanic person use the term yellow bone. Like, I've I never have, heard that. Because Herman is very dark, who's my, he's my fraternity brother. But that's the thing. His is sister is medium and his younger sister is. Probably almost your complexion, and they called her light skin, yellow bone. See, I've but never I, heard and that. I think I hung out in households with Spanish people. Uh, you know, my friend, uh, uh, his name, well, he was actually Jamaican. He started to sound like Danny Lay. My he was friends. actually Jamaican, <laughs> and you know, I mean, because I'm just trying to use an example that yeah, a, a household of, of Latino people that I've been around in Mexican and Spanish that I've been around and in their homes, and I've heard them use these these terms, and I've looked into how. Things were between, you know, like in, in Haiti and how how some things went down in oh, the Dominican. Agree. So there is, there. yeah, there is a light skin, dark skin in those regions. And if yeah, you've no, never no, no, been no. to I'm those, not debating that that's why I say light it's skin, dark skin and even the there. term yellow bone, red bone, they may not put so much value on it. I would say as African Americans do with that term, but I think the term still still exists in those cultures. Okay. Comment down below if that term exists in your culture because, like I said, I had never heard that and I've been around Hispanic and Latino people as well. I've never heard the term yellow bone actually be referred to someone of that background unless they were mixed with black. And then that black. term comes in. And, yeah, exactly. And then they black. So, but Latinos, many Latinos consider themselves but black is Black, not necessarily saying you're <laughs> but again, African, but you say black Latino, Latino. But the term aside, I mm -hmm. don't feel like this song was as what she was saying. Yes, it's a, a vanity type thing. Oh, I feel I'm yellow bone. That's what he likes, that type of thing. It wasn't like when you hear the India Ire song, okay? It wasn't like when you hear even Beyonce's brown skin girl. It wasn't an uplifting thing. Now, on that side of it, had it been that, then I probably could have rocked with it because I don't feel like as even a light-skinned African-American black woman, some of you guys are going to disagree with me, but I don't feel like I should always have to apologize for the skin tone that I was given because I didn't create it. And You're not so, bleaching your skin. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I didn't create it. You're not wearing it. darker makeup. I'm not saying that I feel like I'm better. I'm not saying any of that. So why should we always have to kind of tone it down like why can i say i love my light skin and i think that's what she was trying to imply in her apology is that but i feel like that was a half-assed apology i'm and of not, course i don't feel like it was a real apology no, she knew what she, she meant right. and she so just, then she tried to backtrack because well, i mean i listen to the song she said her, her her guy likes light skin girls she has preference i married you okay i know it's my you were my preference i've dated <laughs> medium darker girls you have. possibly even lighter girls I than know, you i don't know about all that but I, it was a, it's a preference. So if I so if you were to make songs like he want them light skin, slim in the face, and cute no, you know, wait, slim in the waist, cute in the face. There we go. We'll edit that out. But that's just my preference, and I don't feel there's nothing wrong with that. And that's that's I think that's the question oh. to ask. Should it be wrong if she? And I've heard her music, which the song kind of sounds similar to some of her older songs. Again, she is not. Singing is not, not her. Yes. Dancing is her thing. She can dance. We agree dance. on that. It's but not dance her on it. Keep do your little thing. Two two step. But it sounds like it sounds like this new age music, whatever it's called. I don't know what they've coined it. I'm a sorry, term that song yet. was trash. But yeah, I mean yeah, it's trash. But that's half the music out right and now. At one point she said, "Working Eight out." Eighty percent of music is out is trash. Right? So, but it sounds like something she would make or something she could potentially turn into a song. When I first heard it, I thought it was a hook of a song. It sounded like it could be some little like weird said, hook. I thought it was Ice Jason. And, and I mean, it's but a song of that nature, of that content, would fit into her genre and her audience. As opposed to Indira Irie, who's more neo soul, she wouldn't make a song about he want my dog skin yeah, and my out stuff like that. Beyonce maybe. Uh, no, she. You know, but there's if I say her 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 content and the style of her song. It would have that I'm light skin, I'm black type skin. The typical light skin, I mean, space brained. All I have to offer is my skin tone because I know that there are rappers who that's literally what they're mm -hmm. looking at because of their own insecurities and whatnot. And I, and I don't know, cause, and I can't speak on because I've never heard their songs outside of the ones I hear on the radio. I but I don't know if what's the girl name? So Saweetie. Yeah. Saweetie. 
and, and Cardi B. I the mean, thing is though, Saweetie, the way her music is. Megan like, be saying a lot. Of, they all say these different things, and it's just kind of like it, the style that women like rap. Fetishizing their skin tone. Fetishizing. Because just that's what preference. it is. It is no, it's not a preference. preference. When you preference. have to put another person down in order to lift yourself up, or even when a man has to say, oh, I only want my women a certain way because of what it looks like, it's not a, It's not always a preference. Like, there's a fine line between a preference, like how you said you've dated people of all skin tones. Mm -hmm. But I, I have just a preference. happen to be, it, I get that. I'm not, I just but it's not a fetish. a person that fits within what you wanted. But if you say, I only date light-skinned women because but, I feel that they are X, Y, Z, that's fetishizing. But he, but she didn't say that. She didn't. She but said the dude likes him. Don't mean he doesn't like the others. Okay, you got that. And that's like me saying, <laughs> "Oh, I want someone with a certain level of education." It's not fetishing. No, no, no. That's that's different. That's of course preference and maybe a little bit of having standards. I get that, but being light skinned should not be a standard. It should not be the the check it's mark not a standard, on your list. But a preference. No, it shouldn't be the check. And especially in the African American community, where it, it light skin, hard to you know say, it, and you know society has kind of molded a lot of people to put more value on lighter skinned people. I get so that, and that's where the colorism yeah, comes into so play. It's just it's a real thing. Like I'm I not mean, denying. I can tell you. I'm not denying my light yeah. skin has privilege. Oh yeah, I'm light not skin privilege. That yeah. there's certain things that I've gone through through life that other people have not. I've had people who literally have hated me because of my skin and I didn't even know what the hell they was even talking about or why they felt that way. But now that I'm older, I understand. But it's the point that, yes, the song is trash. I don't believe that she was sincere in just trying to make that song. I think that there was an angle and I completely get the vanity in it and what was behind it. I don't, I didn't get that vibe from her that that's what she really meant. But I'm saying, if the door ever opened for someone to make a song talking about their light skin, that it shouldn't be demonized in a way. I shouldn't have to not appreciate myself for who I am because someone else feels a certain way about themselves. And in addition, I think another point needs to be made that it's music. It shouldn't it be taken that serious because it's, she, she's clearly an entertainer. And she does things for entertainment purposes. Um, I mean, you can listen to, listen to all the music that's out right now, and clearly, one, most people will not be able to relate to any of the stuff that's being sung or performed, and half of some stuff that they are performing is usually some fiction, fairy tale, lifestyle, or even something that's mm -hmm. out of the realm of reality. So, you know, so they, I always look at entertainers as, li as performers or actors. Such as in the play, so it's like they're they're yeah. they're just doing things for the sake of getting a paycheck and being entertainers. Yeah, you know? I can really get it. But when you do stuff like that, I think she also has to take into account her real life. Like, yes, you can live this fake fairy tale life, but in your real life, you're dating a dark skinned man who has a dark skinned daughter that you are playing stepmom to. And when you make those type of statements, and you're not thinking about how that's going to affect that child that comes into play too. So you have to be able to separate and you have to have some type of integrity about your music. Like there's some people who won't make certain songs because it does not fit them. You can't be so she's hungry. Not one of them. And she's not, she's but not you can't one. be so hungry for clout because honestly, this could have just been a publicity stunt to begin with. Release right. something to get the algorithm jumping because when I release something else. Oh, good marketing. No, I don't know good about marketing. good, but effective. Yes, good. No, I don't All know. publicity is good. No, I disagree with that. But I'm just saying there has to be a fine line between your reality and then what you're actually portraying. Because you can't sit there talking about my light skin when you have a dark skin stepdaughter. So, so do you prefer light skin? Then? I think that for myself, whenever I was choosing a guy, I chose somebody that I kind of saw myself Be careful in. now. Be careful now. No, I have to. Well, yeah. I don't have to be, be careful. careful. Now. I don't have to be politically correct because this is my channel and if you don't like it, it is what it is. But when I chose a guy, I chose people who I was first attracted to. I like the way someone dresses. That was a that was an attention getter for me. The teeth, 
that was a thing for me. Yeah, like the smile, I like that. I love a man with yeah. a good smile, the dimples, all of that. So if you fit that criteria and plus you were smart, you had something that you were actually talking about, some goals and some ambitions, that's what I was attracted to first. It was, it was the dance moves. <laughs> it was not the dance moves. Grinding on somebody's butt. It was a dance, dance moves. <laughs> That'll be another story. Another story for another day. This video is going on too long. So we're going to end it right here. Let us know what you think about um, the whole situation in general. I think some valid points were made on both sides. Even though with this, we disagree. But it's cool. You don't have to always have group think in a relationship. So It's all subjective. And, yes. and with that... How do you like your coffee? <laughs> coffee.